That's funny. Have you guys been question. together 10 years? Mm -hmm. This ten, year. Mm -hmm. 10 years? Mm -hmm. First off, Martin and Cherry, uh, everyone knows you guys in the garage to be life partners. You guys have been together 10 years, but a lot of people don't know the story of how you two met. Can you give us some insight <laughs> in that? I'm gonna let Martin tell it. Um, she was chasing me pretty hard for a while. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> such a liar. We met through a friend of mine. So who chased who then? <laughs> she chased me. Totally. Oh, he's so totally. <laughs> that is so not true. <laughs> Hit it off right away and started hanging out and I think in like, we it was like five or six time. months we were living together. We've never really left each other's side since then. Our thoughts this week are with Sherry Pollux. Truex's longtime girlfriend has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. The couple thanks the NASCAR community for the well wishes and asks for privacy. That day was just kind of like, it was kind of like you were dreaming. It's like you're standing, you know, you're looking down on yourself watching like this camp. You know, is this really happening to us? I had been to the doctor for several months and, and was diagnosed with normal ovarian cyst, and they just missed it. They, they didn't know that I was full of tumors. Martin and I called a family friend of ours and um, told him that I still wasn't feeling well after months of doctor's appointments, and he did a CT scan on me the next morning and found it right away. I was very late stage. Four or five days later, I was in surgery, and it was massive surgery. Like we, you know, I was eight hours of going through my entire peritoneal area, just picking the cancer out. I just knew something was wrong. Had we not gone in for the scan, um, I'd have been dead six months later. Yeah, for me, the hardest part was seeing her after surgery, you know, just in the hospital bed. It was tough. But I, I remember looking at the doctor and saying, what do I got to do? What do I, what do I have to do to beat it? Because I'm going to fight it and I'm going to win. I'm not going to lay down and take it. Martin, Sherry's personality has always been like this, even before her cancer. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fighter. <laughs> yeah. She's feisty. The last nine months and, and what you've gone through, Sherry, I mean, you've had your spleen, your appendix, your fallopian tubes, your ovaries, part of your stomach removed. Mm -hmm. You've gone through this chemo. You've lost your hair, your eyebrows, yeah. your eyelashes. <laughs> what inspires you to get your feet off the bed and jump on the floor and say, I'm moving forward? My family, my friends, Martin, you know, and, and my kids too here. I mean, we've, Catwalk is such, was such a huge part of our life and pediatric cancer in general through our foundation is all we've really ever done. That's when you realize how blessed you are and how lucky we are to be standing here and that we're healthy. We're healthy. We're healthy. The pediatric cancer just kind of, I don't know, there's something about it just grabbed a hold of us and said, here, this, we need to be doing this. Ironic now, it, right? It's, it's just mm -hmm. crazy, yeah, it's crazy how it all worked out. I kept thinking to myself, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah, but losing the hair in, in your eyebrows and your eyelashes and is traumatic for a woman. Martin laughs at me because I take I take baths with my wigs on and just <laughs> I never take really? my Oh yeah. I never <laughs> take my wigs off. Was there ever a moment, Sherry, where you wanted him out of the race car? No, 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 no. Never. I mean there was days he would leave to go to the racetrack and I would just sit on the front porch and cry. <laughs> Because I didn't want him to leave, you know? I, I'm still like that. I'm a baby every time he leaves me. I never used to be like that. I was Miss Independent all the time. I'm not really like that anymore. I look at everything different, completely different now than I used to. The order of importance on things has changed, you know, without a doubt. You go live your life. You just hope that it doesn't come back, and if it does, you fight it again.